What's going on with Drew Brees? Here we are. It's March 1st, <laughs> no. and he's not retired. And over the weekend, his, uh, his hyper-energetic trainer, Todd Durkin, uh, Instagrams out videos of him damn near uh, shoving a, a, a sled into uh, traffic. I, I got a little scared for a second, but Brees thankfully stopped the sled filled with weights and did turn around and went up the hill with it. Um, and and Durkin's message d- d- definitely made it seem like uh, this isn't a wrap for Breeze. What's going on? And, and the narration of that video sounded just a little contrived, if not rehearsed, didn't it? I, I don't know what's going on. All I know is this. Sean Payton made the rounds the week of the Super Bowl. He was on PFT Live on Wednesday mm-hmm. of that week. Four weeks ago, two days from now. He said, we expect an announcement within a week, week and a half. And everything has pointed to Drew Brees retiring. And Rich, he redoes his contract and slashes his salary from $25 million to the minimum of $1.075 with no quid pro quo, no signing bonus, no money being moved around. He cut $24.925 million in the stroke of a pen as part of an effort to minimize the cap hit while they carry him on the roster until June 2nd, process his retirement then, Minimal cap. I thought that was the absolute smoking gun that he's retiring. And he still hasn't retired, and he's out there pushing this sled around. And, and, and I think that some people around the Saints are starting to wonder what the hell is going on here. And, and Mickey Loomis, the GM, has been on record saying he can play as long as he wants, which I don't think he means, but you have to say. <laughs> right. It's just kind of weird at this point. And every day that goes by – it's a little more conspicuous that Drew Brees hasn't done what, what everyone thought he was going to do. And, and if, you know, look, for the, for the past year, the toothpaste has been out of the tube that it's his last year. And Drew, Drew's never said anything to the contrary. So I, I, we just watch and we wait. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Will I be stunned if he decides to give it another go? I think this is another impact of Tom Brady. The, the team that the Saints swept in the regular season and beat 38-3 to on the same field where the Buccaneers hoisted the Lombardi Trophy. They, they catch the Saints flat-footed. They beat the Saints. They run the table. They win the Super Bowl. How can Drew Brees not think at some level, I can go one more year and we can try to get the Lombardi, and if I don't do it, I'm going to be tormented by the fact that I didn't give it a try for the rest of my life. Yeah, I mean, look, at Tom. Tom's out there, age 43, and, you know, Throwing it past to his son uh, as his beautiful, you know, Drew's beautiful wife, Brittany, looks on him. We're all thinking, well, that's it for Drew because Brady just beat him in the, in the playoffs and he strolls off and he wins the Super Bowl. And if I'm Breeze, part of me's thinking, you know what? Brady wouldn't have made the Super Bowl if he had 19 of his ribs broken in the middle of November. You know, like, and, you know, more, like he's more broken ribs than ribs. Exactly. Like, anatomy. he did make me have to Google how many ribs does a human being have, Mike? Like, I actually did look at that. So I wouldn't blame him if he's sitting there thinking, let me just heal up. I can play till that day. I, I can do the same, you know, DB9 system. Like, I can do that too. And I've got Michael Thomas. Like, I can run this thing back. Uh, I wouldn't blame him for thinking that for a split second. And look at the pressure it puts on the team. He's cut his salary by $24.925 million. He's given the team the ultimate. I mean, we can praise Tom Brady all we want. He's never cut his salary $24.925 million in one year, and he's just coming back to try to help the team win a championship. And, hey, I'll play half the time. He told us that last year when the question was, Taysom Hill and will he be back? And we talked to him about hypotheticals with truly sharing the job. And he said he's got no problem as long as they win. He'll play as much or as little as they want. I mean, if he walks through the door and says, I'm here, you want to use me, use me. If you want to be a backup, backup. I'm here. Mm. I'm here, and I'm not retiring. If you want to cut me, cut me, but I'm here, puts the Saints in a very awkward spot. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 